everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Sue of Bend and Stretch with Sue. And today I'll be taking you through a morning power practice meant to energize you and get you ready for the day ahead. But hey, anytime you need strength, energy, you can always come back and do this practice any time of the day. So let's get started. Let's come up to the top of the mat and we'll begin in, by standing in Tadasana, mountain pose. So as you stand tall and bring the arms in alignment, you can simply close the eyes here and allow yourself to ground for a few moments. Feel the energy coming through the soles of your feet, moving right up through the entire body to the crown of your head. As you take your next inhale, let's take a big breath, scooping the arms wide open, reaching up, looking up to the hands, stretching through the front lines of the body. Take a bow as you reach forward, hinging from the hip creases with a beautiful flat back to come all the way down to fold. Taking a breath in, lengthening through the back as you flatten Now You might want to bring the hands up to the shins for a little extra lift if needed. You can bend your knees as much as you need to at any time. And we'll bring the hands to the mat as we step back with the right foot. So creating a nice long lunge here, bringing the knee down to the floor for this first one, reaching the arms up as you bring them alongside the ears, bringing the hands down to the mat. And let's step the left foot to meet the right one, coming into a strong plank, inhaling at the top of it and exhaling with control as you lower down to your mat. From here, stretch the tops of the feet, breathe in to lengthen once again through the front of the body. You can leave the hips on your mat or you might lift them up into an upward dog and then taking it back into your downward facing dog, spreading the hands wide open to make a really large handprint and reaching those hips up and back. From here, looking to the space between the hands, we're just gonna walk this first one forward as we ease into our flat back once again, breathing in fully, breathing out to squeeze and compress the breath out. Now, as you inhale once again, scooping those arms wide out to the sides, reaching tall with a little bit of a leaning back. And as you exhale, bring the hands to the heart and take a pause here. Breathing in once again, reconnecting with that strong energy through the soles of your feet. Breathing in once again to scoop those arms wide open, look up to the hands, add a little back bend this time and take a bow once more, coming down into that nice flat back all the way to your forward fold, bending the knees as much as is required. Breathing in fully, breathing out, stepping back with your left foot, nice long lunge once again, bringing knee to your mat and reaching up to bring the arms right alongside the ears. Breathe in to extend a little bit more, use your breath out to plant the hands down, sliding your right foot to meet the left, lowering down to your mat, or maybe just grazing it as you come into an upward dog or cobra if you want to keep it a little bit more gentle, rolling through the tops of those feet to come back into your downward facing dog. As you lift the hips up and back, bending the knees, look to the space between the hands, and this time if you want a little bit more power to it, bend the knees and softly hop to place them to the top of your mat, inhaling with a flat back, exhaling to fold. Reverse swan dive and scoop those arms wide, bring the palms together, and bring them to the heart once again. You can close the eyes and pause here momentarily to reconnect with that energy through the soles of your feet, connecting with the earth. Breathing in to open up a little bit of a lean back as you take your bow once again into your forward fold. Breathing in to flatten the back, increasing the pace a little bit as we connect each movement with breaths coming up to a higher lunge this time, breathing in and breathing out to plant the hands down, adding a little more challenge to the core as you reach back, possibly keeping that left foot lifted as you lower down around elbow level, pressing right back up again on the inhale, exhaling to lower down, lower the left foot down, scoop the heart through and take it back to your downward facing dog. Once again, enjoy the stretch. Take a breath here, lift high on the balls of both feet and walk or hop those feet to the top of your mat, breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, 
fully through the nose as you reach nice and tall. And as you exhale, you go right into your bow to hinge and come into your forward fold. Breathing in to lengthen, breathing out to step back with the left foot. Come on up to your lunge. Once again, you stay tall, shoulders over hips. Good bend in that front knee to energize the legs. Bring the hands down, step back, reaching way back with the right foot if you can keep it lifted. Coming into a little push up, pressing right back up again and lower down, scooping the heart through and take it back to your downward facing dog. Take a breath here to stretch into lengthen. Breathe out, float the feet to the top of your mat. Inhale with a flat back. Exhale to fold, breathing in fully, reach and a little lean back. Take your bow as you exhale into your forward fold. Breathing in, stepping back with the right foot, plant the heel down, turn the toes out on that back foot a little bit and come on up to warrior one. Vira Badrasana one as you bring the arms right by those ears once again. Breathing in fully, breathing out to bring the hands down, once again reaching it back with the left foot, reaching the head forward, breathing in, come on down to elbow level, press right back up again, and come on down again, scooping the heart through and taking it back to your downward facing dog. Breathe in deeply, breathe out completely. Inhale once again, exhale. Reverse it, scoop those arms wide, reach, look up, take a bow, bringing those arms by the ears as you come to your flat back all the way to forward fold. Inhale halfway up, step back with your left foot, plant it down and reach up with the arms right by your ears. Breathe in, bend that front knee to energize the legs even more. Breathe in and breathe out, step it back with your right foot, keeping it lifted if you can, lower if you need to, come on down to elbow level, press right back up again, and let's do it again. And back up, and lower down, scoop it through, inhale, exhale, take it back. Ah, breathe in, breathe out, bring yourself to your flat back, to inhale, breathe out full, and reverse it, a nice full breath in, and take your bow, exhale, all the way down. Inhale, flatten the back once again. Step back with the right foot, bring that heel all the way to the floor. Tuck your tailbone a little bit here as you open up to Vira Badrasana 2, Warrior 2. Maybe sink into it a little bit deeper and then gracefully curl with those hands, one on either side of your front foot as you pivot on the ball of your back foot. Breathe in as you reach back. Breathe out as you come down to elbow level. Press right back up again, keeping that body strong. And let's lower down. Once again, grazing the floor. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Spread those hands wide open. Take at least one full breath. Maybe stick around a little bit longer for a couple extra breaths to really ah, feel that warmth and that energy flowing through your body. Lift up onto the balls of both feet. Bring those feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Reverse it, open up and lean back. Reaching forward into your bow and hinge. Forward fold, breathing in to flatten the back. Breathing out, step way back with the left foot. Bring the heel down and float yourself up to your Virabhadrasana two. Gaze past the front fingers. Lots of energy flowing from and through those arms. Sink a little bit deeper, maybe getting a little more energy and strength in those legs. Cartwheel the hands gracefully and step back, reach back with your right foot. Lower down to elbow level. Press right back up and again, and take it down, scooping through, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, take it to your downward facing dog. Ah, take a few moments to breathe here. Stretch and turn those heels toward the floor. So feel yourself lengthening those tight hamstrings that we often get out of bed with as you feel your body now 
flowing that blood and pumping through into all that tissue, waking it up. Inhale, lift up on the balls of both feet. Exhale, float the feet to the top of the mat, breathing in fully, breathing out completely. Reverse swan dive, reach those arms up, Take a little bit of a lean back and this time as you reach forward we're going to float the right leg up taking it into Virabhadasana three warrior three level the hips reach through the fingertips reach through the toes staying level holding it bending your standing leg just a little bit bit of a bend and straighten I'll do two more like that one more and as you plant the hands down, step way back and bring your left foot back to your three limb plank, lower down to chaturanga, press back up again, and two more times. One more, and lower it down, scoop the heart through, inhaling, exhaling to take it back. Ah, once again, taking your opportunity to refuel the body lift up on the balls of those feet look to the space between the hands and float feet to the top of the mat breathe in breathe out reverse it open up and lean back slightly as you reach forward and hinge floating the left leg back virabhadrasana to the other side level square up your hips your shoulders keep those the neck nice and long bending your straight your straight leg your standing leg that is two more times and one more time and plant down step back with the right foot lower down press back up two more times one more time and scoop through inhale exhale and take it back ah take a breath here let yourself really feel that nice warm energy that's buzzing right through your body right now as you look to the space between the hands and lift up onto the balls of both feet bend the knees really spring load those legs as you walk or hop to place your bottom right in between the hands coming to your tall seated position staff pose Dandasana and reach the arms up. Take a breath in here and as you exhale, hinge and let yourself fold over the legs. Breathing and softening, letting every exhale create a little bit more softness, a little bit more heaviness and slowly unroll. <sighs> Come on back up. Let's bring the legs in and as we continue to energize the body. Let's find our balance here in a boat pose. So you can keep the legs bent if you like, or you might start to lengthen, bringing lots of energy into those legs as well as the core. You can hold on to the legs. You can keep them bent if you like, or you might even be able to challenge yourself to bring the arms right alongside the legs. Maybe even bring them alongside the ears, creating even a deeper V. Hold it here, breathing for five, four, three, two, one, and bend. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let those knees a butterfly outward as you let yourself hinge and soften. So it's just a really nice soothing position to come in after all that hard work. Let your breath once again soften you up, maybe getting a little bit deeper, maybe able to place the head right over top of those feet to really create a nice deep stretch, not only in the back, but in the inner legs as well. So if this feels like it puts a lot of pulling on your lower back, just stay up a little bit higher and instead focus on bringing your belly button toward the mat and then slowly push yourself back up bringing the soles of your feet back down to the mat and breathing in to reach up, inhale, breathing out to tuck the chin, looking right toward those knees as you slowly let yourself roll down, maybe scoop the gaze a little bit more towards your belly button and then roll your way back 
down again. From here, you can bring the center back of your head to the floor, palms firmly anchored, walking your feet back. As you stack your knees right over top of your hips, breathing in to open up, lifting the hips nice and high here. Take a few breaths here. Now you can interlace the fingers, press those baby fingers into the floor to get lots of leverage to lift up a little bit higher to stretch open up through the heart see if you can maybe walk your finger or your shoulder blades a little bit closer toward the middle of your spine as you press down and lift up draw those inner thighs toward each other as well breathe in and then breathe out bring yourself back to the mat bring the knees into your chest Give yourself a nice squeeze as you curl into this tight little cannonball here, which is also known as wind relieving pose. And then bringing your head back down again, bringing the feet down. Now you can come back into that bridge if you like. If you want even more of a stretch, you can bring the hands right by the ears and press yourself up into wheel, which will give you a deeper back bend. Pressing to open up lifting the heart, lifting the hips. Take another couple of breaths here. Really feel yourself opening up, lengthening out. And slowly tuck the chin in as you bring the head back down again and release the spine down. So lots of energy here flowing through the whole body. From here, kick your right leg long on your mat. Take your right hand to your left knee, open up that left arm and bring it across over toward the right side. So try to keep your left shoulder blade on the floor as well as your left upper arm, bringing it over, maybe bringing that thigh on the left leg a little bit closer to your belly, the left knee a little bit closer to your chest. Breathe and really feel yourself focusing the breath into that left lung. You can bring in, breathe in fully through your nose and see if you can make you breathe up through your nose. That's gonna help you to slow down your breathing so you can take your time. You're gonna squeeze out a little bit more oxygen out of that breath. As you come back through to the center, bring your right knee in, stretch your left leg along, and take your left hand to the right knee, open up your right arm, take it across. So same thing. You wanna really feel yourself long through the waist. Take your gaze in the opposite direction of your knee, if you can. So just be mindful here of how your neck, how your shoulder feels. So not overdoing it, continuing to feel like you're sending your tailbone away from the top of your head. So your waist stays nice and long. And if you do wanna deepen it, you can always slide that right knee a little bit closer to your chest, but just breathe, relax, close the eyes, Take one more breath. And as you unwind, come on back to the center. Stretch out the right leg. Stretch out both arms. Interlace the fingers and press those palms away from you. Stretching as if it is the very first stretch that you take on this morning. As you lengthen the legs out, breathe in. Ah, breathe out, bring the arms back to a place where it's comfortable for you to do so. You might even bring your feet a little bit wider than hip width, let your toes turn out, which creates a really nice opening into the hips. And then close the eyes and just let yourself savor that feel good energy that's just buzzing through the body right now. Let yourself come to a place of quiet, of stillness, this is a great way to let the body recover. Really maximizing your time on the mat today. So you can stay here as long as you have available to you. Just listening to your breath. Ah, just letting yourself relax the body. 
whenever you are ready you don't have to come up now but when you're ready to come out you can wake up the hands the feet slowly bring a bend to the knees a roll through your side as you press yourself away from the floor and coming back to a seated position sitting nice and tall when you're ready to and I would like to thank you so much for your time today and don't forget Give me one of these if you liked it and subscribe, hitting that bell notification so that you'll know when I upload new content and then you can check it out and check me out. Namaste.